asexuality.com, an author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. So what is asexuality and what does it mean to be asexual? Happy Asexual Awareness Week. If you've never heard of asexuality before, asexuality is a sexual orientation in its own right that is the lack of sexual attraction. I'm an asexual person, think of asexual as the absence of sexual attraction. So basically I don't get the need, urge or want for sexual intercourse. So I ju it just doesn't happen for me. Even if I love the person, it still doesn't happen for me. And so within um, asexuality, the lack of sexual attraction, sexuality, there are subcategories of different types of asexuals. So you can get an aromantic asexual and they know they have the absence of sexual attraction plus the absence of romantic attraction. So think of the A in aromantic as absence of romance. And if they're, they're an aromantic asexual, they lack uh, sexual attraction too. You can also get aromantic sexuals as well. So they may be absence of uh, romantic attraction, but they still experience sexual attraction. An aromantic asexual person is someone who lacks romantic attraction and sexual attraction. And then you go on to the grey romantics. So the grey romantics are between aromantic and the ro fully romantics. Um, so grey romantics might experience a bit of romance or towards certain people or under limited circumstances. And then you you have other categories. Um, I'm just I'm just really addressing the very well known sort of major categories, but there's lots and lots of subcategories, and some people can be more than one category. So from that you go into the sort of the middle end of the asexual spectrum, if you like, where all the romantics live. So heteromantics, that's like myself. Hetero meaning attracted to the opposite sex or gender. Romantic, romantically attracted. So I'm not sexually attracted to guys, but I'm romantically attracted to guys. And it's only guys for me. So I don't ever want to have sex with a guy. I only want to have romance, kissing and cuddling. I'm fortunate recently to have... Um, you know, become in an asexual relationship with an asexual guy. So I'm absolutely over the moon about that because it's took me over three years to get that. And even longer in terms of I've known I have a soulmate since 10. I just didn't know he was asexual to 2014. But I'm over the moon about that. It is really hard to get um, an asexual partner, but you can do it. And there are people in my asexual perspectives book who've got asexual, or someone's been with another asexual for over four years. So it's it's really true that you can get asexual asexual love love without sex really does exist and this is basically what asexuality is about love without sex so other romantic orientations within the asexual um, spectrum so i'm heteromantic you have homo romantics so meaning they're attracted to the same gender or sex romantically not sexually pan romantics um they're basically attracted to can be attracted to any gender so this means a gender gender fluid um men women you know any any gender as it is and there's bi romantics they're attracted romantically just to the same or opposite sex or gender i hope that makes sense then you go to the demi romantics as well so basically demi romantics they can only um, experience romantic attraction when they formed a strong emotional connection with someone Otherwise, they're predominantly a lot of the time they're aromantic, so they don't experience any romantic or sexual attraction. Then all of a sudden, they can be a demi-romantic once they've been with a person, like say a couple of years, or once they've built a really deep friendship for a couple of years. Um, then they can experience a full romantic attraction. And you've got the really much more sexual end of the asexual spectrum before before the sexual spectrum starts, if you like. So you've got the demi-sexuals, the grey asexuals, and the grey a's. So demisexuals are someone who can only form a strong emotional connection leading to sexual attraction. So basically they only um, experience sexual attraction once they've formed a deep emotional connection with a person. And it can be really tough for demisexuals on the asexual spectrum because unless they fall um, deeply in love with someone with a deep emotional connection, they don't experience sexual attraction so that could come on. So basically, they, they, they might have been a romantic asexual. Then all of a sudden, they've been with their person for a couple of years and they start experiencing sexual attraction for, for them. And it can be really scary for them. But And they sometimes feel like um, they're not welcome in the asexual community because then they become sexual, if you like. But 
they you know unless they form that deep emotional connection it's usually with one person or not very many in their lifetime they don't experience sexual attraction so otherwise they're they're fully asexual if you know what i mean so um there is a a, a demisexual person in a book explaining how difficult it is for them because they don't feel like they can say they're demisexual because they get worried people will think badly of them or be scared around them because they are um, sexual orientation now but they're on the asexual spectrum still because they're demisexual not fully sexual if you like and the grey asexuals are very similar um, you know the grey asexuals basically um, they can form um, they're not fully similar in the sense they don't usually experience full-on sexual attraction of, you know like whoosh there it is with the with the grey asexuals they tend to experience sexual attraction under limited or rare or specific circumstances and they sometimes experience sexual attraction but not enough to actually want to act on it um so that's different to it so a demisexual once they really in love deep emotional connection could be a couple of years they'll they'll really experience all that sexual attraction that uh, and sort of a normal sexual person if you like if there's there's no such word as normal but you know what i mean that the average sexual person will experience a demisexual person will experience that but it doesn't mean to say that they will have to have sex because some demisexuals I've met and they don't actually need sex because they're still part of the asexual spectrum. They didn't experience sexual attraction before. They know what it's like to not experience sexual attraction and to experience love without sex. So they can still be, some of them can still be in a relationship without sex at all. Other demisexuals feel they can't. Then you've got the grey A's. Now the grey A's are usually partnered up with the grey asexuals. It usually means the same sort of thing. But in my sexual perspectives book, I redefine grey A to mean grey areas. So, for example, for me, I experience high levels of arousal. Is that normal for asexuals? Not all asexuals do experience arousal. A lot of them don't, but I do, and it's very, very high levels of arousal. I love being aroused, if I'm absolutely honest, but I don't like sex. I'm not interested in sex. I don't get the need, the urge, or want for sex ever. It, it's just personally yuck to me these days. I'm personally sex repulsed these days. I don't need it, don't want it, don't like it. But the feeling of arousal, I can get arousal feeling in my body. I uh, don't watch porn, don't need that to get aroused. I could just get aroused just by thinking the word aroused, you know, or think about kissing and stuff like that. So, you know, that's that's a great area because I don't experience the sexual attraction, but I can have some sexual behaviour because I get aroused. So that to me is a great area, which is why I call myself a heteromantic, hyperromantic, grey A, asexual cougar who doesn't like sex, just kissing. So I get attracted to young guys. Um, younger foreign guys usually and um, um, I'm so lucky that my boyfriend yeah he's British born but he's got foreign uh, origins you know he's part foreign if you like um, from his mother's side and he's just really gorgeous face um, beautiful foreign looking face so I'm really lucky in that respect um, yes yeah, so I hope that sort of cleared some stuff up about asexuality um, do asexuals watch porn yes some do do asexuals masturbate yes some do do ex uh, asexuals experience arousal some do um so there you go do asexuals have kinks some do do asexuals participate in bdsm some do without the sexual intercourse um so yeah it, it, you know there's lots and lots of myths about asexuality that i really bust through in my asexual perspectives book if you haven't got a copy yet go down in the description click on the link and go grab your copy now you know you can get a digital copy for less than the price of a latte you know it's worth it I, I spent a year interviewing people across the globe there's 46 interviews um and the, the questions were to answer all your questions in private message um i keep getting questions like you know can asexuals masturbate do they watch porn you know is that normal and can asexuals form relationships with other asexuals what's it like to be in a relationship with another sexual can it work all the answers to these questions are in my book you know, what advice would you give to asexuals who just find out they're asexual? This advice is in my book, but not just for me. Don't take my word for it. It's, it's from 46 other asexuals besides me. And the, the way I've structured the questions, that the, the asexuals in the book tell their own personal story through the answers to my questions. And it's a really informative guide to asexuality across the spectrum. It doesn't just tell you the definitions. It shows you how it's really like to be asexual in this sexualized world and how it really is to be um, in the asexual spectrum and how it is to be different type of asexuals to others. It really shows you that dynamic and shows you the thinking 
and how the behaviour is. So it's it's a really good book. It's, it's very different to those other ones on the market. It's done in a very different way. It's known as a quirky book. Every book I write is um, done in a different way. It crosses over genres. So, you know, expect something a little bit different. But it's really good and it will answer a lot of your asexual questions. If you're just starting out, find out about asexuality, just get the book, Asexual Perspectives, 47 Asexual Stories, Love, Life and Sex, A Celebration of Asexual Diversity. And if nothing else, please make you sure you share this video with anyone and everyone. This is Asexuality Awareness Week and we need to raise as much awareness of asexuality as possible. I'm on a mission to get asexuality recognised as sexual orientation throughout the globe so that no asexual has to live in fear of ridicule ever again. And I cannot do it alone. I really need you to like this video. Please, if you like it, please like it. Please subscribe. Hit the bell button after you subscribe to get every single video I post. And don't forget to keep sharing it, commenting, liking. Just share this video with anyone and everyone that you think may benefit from it. And there's a tons of people, remember? Asexuality will, oh yeah, I didn't tell you, did like that. Asexuals are 1% of the population. That means one in every 100 people you meet will usually be asexual. But a lot of them won't say they are because they'll hide in fear of ridicule, of, you know, people mocking them because they don't want, need or like sex. You know, and you know what the media's like and the, the society's like, we're full of sex, buy this to get more sex, do this to get more sex, have this to get more sex. Not everyone wants, needs or likes sex. That's perfectly fine. You can have love without sex. There's nothing wrong with you. You're asexual and it's amazing. So ace is, is the slang word for asexual. So just realise that you are the best. You are ace. You are number one. And never, ever be ashamed of who you are. Never be ashamed of who you are. Until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's. And I will see you on the next video. Happy Asexual Awareness Week. Bye-bye.